All right, guys. So I was doing a little messing around, weighing the uh, the projectiles that uh, Walter sent me from Coates Brothers, as well as these from Kenny. These are nine millimeter, and these are from Willie Bullet Man. They're nine millimeter, and I was just weighing them to try and get an idea of what weight they actually are. Uh, I need to see about getting maybe the Lee manual since they were casted with Lee molds um, I gotta be honest I'm a little unsure about uh, doing the cast bullets and loading them but I'm pretty sure if I reach out to any one of you guys you'd be more than willing to help also while doing that the mail lady showed up and this is from Treeline USA. Uh, Treeline USA, if anyone doesn't know, sells products for wood carvings and different items like that. So. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Uh, Kenny, brother, you are the man. You, sir, are the man. Guys, this is the micro motor. And Kenny let me know that it was ordered even though he didn't want to because he was kind of worried to make sure that the address was going to be correct and then also I knew he was trying to do something but I also was willing to put up my own money for it and I think I might have ruined my own surprise because I know Kenny didn't want me to do that but you know I didn't want Kenny having to put it up all by himself. So I know there's other guys that put in for it, and I would definitely like to know who those guys were. Um, I would definitely like to know. So here we go. So this is called the Strong 202 Micro Motor. Lately, I'll show you guys what I've been using. And lately, what I've been using is my Dremel with a flex shaft on it. So, turn the light on in here. And this is my carbon station. So, um, I'm working on a carbon for a friend of mine right now. But, uh, of course, everybody knows what this one is. That's the one I did for Kyle. And then, there's Eagle Eyes under there. And uh, there'll be a few more coming, so let's get back to this thing over here. Let me make sure I set you guys up right. This is pretty light, so I'm, yeah, I figured that. This is the handpiece cradle. This is what the handpiece will sit on. Of course, we got the power cord. Now I'm getting a text message. Oh, and this awesome piece right here. This, guys, is the hand piece. So this is what hooks to the micro motor. And instead of you having to worry about a flex shaft, it's got like an old telephone cord on it. And I mean, guys, I don't know if y'all have any idea about how excited I am to use this thing, but I'm like ridiculously excited. So I think I'm going to have to look at the instructions to figure out how to remove these things um, so I can get the proper bits put in it to do some carvings. And here, in that box, is the power unit itself. 
<laughs> and there she is. Man, I, like I say, guys, I am just ridiculously excited about this. Um, I know that this is going to help with my carvings. And as soon as I get everything set up, I will turn the camera back on and show you guys what it does. All right, guys, so please work with me on the shaking of the camera. And of course, there goes my phone again. But I want to show you guys real quick um, how this system works. So you take the hand piece right here. And if you notice, the tip is open. So you put the bit in, you turn it, and that locks it. That's it. It's in there. So here we have it on man. You hit manual. You start. You're going to start turning the dial. And you can turn the dial that's at 7,000 RPM, 9,000 RPM, 15, and so on, all the way up to 45. So, and if you notice, the cord allows me to reach as far across my uh, carbon area as I really need to reach to. Now, um, there's not many carbons that I'll be doing where you're going to be at 45,000 RPMs. So, and that's one thing I'm going to have to kind of learn is how to use the burrs. So, that's how you... There's an on and off switch in the back right here. Um, this switch, you can switch between... 35 and 45,000 RPMs, but you got to have it turned on. Right here, you can change the rotation of the way the bit goes. So, most people who are right handed, it's going to be in the forward position. I don't know if you can see the little green light that's on, but in the forward position, you know, it throws everything towards you, unfortunately. So, I use uh, right here, I have my dust mask that. I got from Harbor Freight and I uh, believe it or not I use this I pretty much as I'm carving I uh, I'll take it and put it up here on my uh, little lazy Susan that I got and uh, I'll let it run for a while you know while I'm doing the carving so it sucks up as much as it can uh, Kenny Again, brother, I can't thank you enough for this, man. This thing is amazing. Like, I can't wait to get carving on it. And uh, I'm going to here in a second. I'm going to try and shoot a little bit of video of me doing that. I have a friend's uh, carving. He doesn't know he's getting it, but he did 20 years in the military, both Navy and Air National Guard. So I got a little something that I'm working on for him. But, uh, man, I, I'm just ecstatic and excited um and the great part is is that i can still use my uh my dremel tool and leave it hanging up there and they're both right next to each other so i'll be able to switch between machines just depending on what i'm doing so you know in the reverse order um you can actually throw the shavings and dust and everything away from you and uh that's something that will be used uh, later on whenever um, I can get a dust collector um, which will probably be soon so guys again if you had anything to do with this please let me know and hopefully I can uh, set the camera up to be able to show you guys a little bit what I do Alright guys, so this is going to be the first time I'm using my micro motor and uh, you guys are going to get to see it. I have not tested it out yet. Like I said, this is a board for a friend of mine who did uh, 20 years in the military. Um, he was in the Navy 
originally starting out and then uh, he joined the Air Force Reserves or Air National Guard in Mississippi. Um, so on the board itself, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, anyways, uh, this right here is the logo or uh, badge, whatever you want to call it, for the USS Wasp, which was the boat that he served on. And then I have an F-15 on this side. So I'm not sure how the F-15 is going to come out, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to put my dust mask on and then we'll get started. I'm so used to pushing my foot pedal down here at the bottom to run my Dremel tool. But I don't need to use that right now because of the awesome people at the Reloaders Network who hooked me up with the micromotor. So let's go ahead and switch it on. We got it at 20,000 RPMs. And we're going to test it out. Holy smokes, is this thing quiet. <laughs> oh, it's so quiet. I usually use my headphones so I can listen to music and kind of drown out the noise of the uh, the what you call it my journal tool but I don't need to do that now and of course the best part is that the cord flexes in any way I need it to And this machine is absolutely just like using a pencil, man. I can't believe this. Kenny, if you're watching this, brother, oh my God, this thing works amazing, guys. I absolutely cannot believe how quiet this thing is and how awesome it really is. Like right now, normally in the position that I am carving in with my Dremel tool, it would have to be on the side like this as I'm going and I'm not able to have as much control going up or down and then a lot of times I'll have to grab the back end of it with the right hand in order to make sure that I keep steady in order to be able to, you know, do these clean outs like I'm doing right now. Just from this little bit, guys, I can tell that this machine is going to save me so much time. It is not even funny. I cannot, cannot, cannot stress enough how thankful I am to you guys for this. 
I greatly appreciate it, guys. I really do. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I, I just can't help it, man. I'm ecstatic. I'm smiling from ear to ear. Um, it's one of the greatest things anybody's ever done for me. Uh, and Kenny, I greatly appreciate it, man. I know what you did to get this for me. And uh, I love you, brother. I really do. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a couple other things coming up soon. Um, as far as reloading goes. Um, if you guys want to see more carbon videos, let me know. Um, of course, those won't be uploaded to the Reloaders Network. Um, but, I mean, I think it's something I would like to do too. So, let me know, guys. Everybody have an awesome week.